so hi guys thank you for keep watching and we actually have 70 subscribers which doesn't seem a lot but for me it's a lot um so today as you saw in the title i'm talking about what i call canadian box and i don't i don't want it to be offensive or i don't mean to be offensive um i do have a lot of nice canadian people that i know so it's just i want to share it's a characteristic of the culture and people who were born here and it's a nice thing um, they have is like is a quality it's a characteristic of themselves but in the same time it's kind of hard for people from outside to fit in and go on with a daily basis life so I'll give you an example of what I mean about the Canadian box so uh, there is a there is a procedure or a step protocol or whatever you can call so you go from step A to B from B to C from C to D and then you finally get to the top or whatever so that's the normal procedure that's how it's supposed to be but if you if you are not born here right if you have not lived your whole life here sometimes that specific square box will not fit you so a good example i will share with you today is about my drive license okay so i have a driver license from brazil and i we are in 2020 i drive in brazil since 2008 so in canada there are some countries that have an agreement where you just come depending on the country you show your license and you get a canadian license on the same day you don't need to go through any kind of tests or anything like that which is maybe six seven countries in the whole world so it's not the reality for most of the immigrants right the reality for us is if you drive in your own country you come here they have the class 5 which is car driving and uh, they have class 6 which is motorcycle driving back home I fully license in both of them 5 and 6 so when I came here, I decided to only do my five because um, because of the box. So I did my five. To, to do the five, you go, you do a written test, and you get a five in or beginners or, or learners or whatever you call after your written test. And from that on, you can practice with a fully, drive, uh, fully licensed driver on your side which if you are international and you came by yourself, you don't have it, right? So really you can't practice with anybody because you don't have anybody. So then you can pay somebody uh, kind of a, a drive course type of thing and that person will drive with you, will give you some tips and stuff like that and then you can use the car to do your test. And then you get, you know, everything goes on and you learn uh, there are a lot of different things about the country, so I understand, you know, the procedure, but in the same time, you can see how we don't fit, immigrants don't fit in the box, right? So, for five, it's the most common one. Most immigrants coming here, they have a car license, uh, and uh, they will transfer that. So, that are those steps. Every single place that they live is kind of the same. But for the motorcycle, it's very few people who have a fully licensed motorcycle driver, driver license home, whenever home is. And so I came here and the box is, you needed to have your own motorcycle, but you cannot drive uh, because you needed to go to written test and balance test and then road test. Uh, and for balance test and road test, you must have your motorcycle, but until you finish your balance test, you don't have a license from here for the motorcycle. So that means you cannot get insurance for that motorcycle that you're supposed to have. So again, the box will not fit you because just it's not meant to fit people, immigrants. It's, it's meant to fit people who were born here. So then what they have, they don't have a, a guy that you can uh, you know, rent the bike and then just do the classes or learning or whatever like you have for the car because it's so uncommon uh, that they don't have it and it's not because they live in Newfoundland it's like that in all over the country it's just the box will not fit right 
So what I did is I did my reading test. I got a paper with a stamp. And from that on, I can do my balance test. But since I don't have, I, I don't have a motorcycle, I like a, you know, a normal motorcycle. So I can't do it. Uh, so I pay 500 bucks to do a course over the weekend to be able to use the course as my balance test. And then I did this on the weekend. So the motorcycle steps for getting a license from outside to here is the same than a car. You go, you do your written test, you do your balance test, then you do your road test. But the box is made for people here who just get your license. So you wait 30 days after the course to do in your own bike uh, the road test because these 30 days are meant for you to drive your own motorcycle that you already own and that have that with insurance um, in their word. Um, and so you use the 30 days to adapt to your bike before you go and do your road test which makes sense here but then for me will not work because i don't have a motorcycle if i had a motorcycle i could not insure that because i don't have a license right so now i have a permit since i have my written test done and my balance test done with the guy from the course so today in the morning, my plan was going to MV, uh, MVR and then saying, okay, here is it, can you give me my permit? And then the guy came with me in Grand Falls to make sure we have everything okay and then I could do my road test in the morning and then come back there and get my full motorcycle license. They said, no, you can't do that. You can't do it because you need to wait 30 days and actually you need to wait eight months because you are transferring your license. That means you don't have a license here. And then I told them, no, I have a full, like I'm a fully licensed class five. So I just want to do the road test and then get that in addition to my five, fully five. No, you can't do it. And people here in Cornerbrook, when I went to the MVR, they told me, no, you, you can't because you're just transferring a license. You are fully licensed already. You just needed to, you know, make sure you fit in the Canadian rules of the traffic and the transit and all of that. And then, you know, hand signals, head checks and things like that. So I was like, you know what? If you can't figure it out here, I'm just going home. Can you please give me the permit? Because the permit, I'm supposed to have it. And then I'm going home, I acknowledge that they have this box in their own mind. They can't come out of this box. Doesn't matter because it's supposed to be A, B, C, D. If you throw an outside and sometimes you go from A, C, D or sometimes A, B, D, they just, they just don't connect, you know, like, and it's very frustrating and I don't mean to be offensive as I said in the beginning of the video it's just so frustrating that I want to share this experience with you because that happens in every single thing you want to do in the country that's who they are the Canadian people are like that and it's okay it works perfectly the country is safe is secure you know uh, the traffic there is few accidents so fits perfectly the culture and that's why I love the country right because it works everything works everything is safe but then in the same time it's when I just get so angry I was like why I'm here why I'm even trying to make them understand and then this lady she was just like no and, and you know because she cannot think out of the box so she doesn't even she doesn't even measure the alternatives because in her brain there is no alternatives if you cannot go from A to B to C to D you're supposed not to be there that's it like end of the deal so when I came here for the guys they are you know a bigger city they are used to international people not as much as Halifax in Nova Scotia but they are aware that that's the Canadian regulations you can transfer your license you need to go through all these steps but that doesn't mean you need to wait all that long time because you you already know how to drive you just need to adapt your driving skills to the country make sure you you know what you are doing here so i just wanted to make this video and share with you because i really got frustrated today and it happens you know when you are immigrant it will happen and it will continue to happen with you 
because the people think, um, you know, first of all, you speak, they sometimes not fully understand you, but they are polite enough sometimes to ask it, but sometimes they really don't care, so they don't understand and then that's it. For example, for the woman today, uh, she didn't ask for any documents. She didn't let me explain. She said, no, 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 I know what you mean. No, you do know what I mean. Because first of all, you assume I didn't have a license and I do have a license. I just couldn't transfer my motorcycle license part of it before because I didn't have a bike. You know, I couldn't do all those steps before because it's really expensive. So don't assume anything. If you are a Canadian, you are watching this video, please just don't assume anything when it comes to international people. Listen first and then listen and with, with that information, make a judgment. Don't go with the box because we are not going to fit in your box because the box is made for Canadian born people, not for immigrants. So it's going to happen. You are going to get frustrated, you know, if you're international and life goes on. Just go ahead, make sure you read all because you know, I had this information, I read the whole booklet and I was like, no, I'm sure it said in the booklet I can do that. So go ahead, make sure you're well informed. Most of the times what I do is I bring the booklet with me or whenever it is, any documentation and they say, no, you, the first thing they say to you, no, you can't do it. They don't even let you explain. They don't nothing because you are not in the box. So you don't fit You go away. So what I do usually is like, oh, excuse me, can you come back here? Here says in this paper that they can do it. Can you take a look? And if you don't understand, can you ask our manager to answer that? Because really that is nothing you can do. And then if you get really angry, which happens to me a lot, I just walk away because if you fight is even worse. Because then you're immigrant, you insult somebody here and you know, you're not from this country and then you lose your whole rights. So it's complicated. Uh, I said I don't want to make this channel about bad things that happen with me, but those are the things that frustrate me most. And then I believe, I do truly believe in my heart that I'm not alone. Must have people who are frustrated as the same than me or even more, you know, with day-to-day -day life things just because you don't fit in the box so that's it guys just want to share and then open my heart and make sure you are following me and and you know you know what is going what's going on and what's happening and how hard sometimes it is to be an immigrant is it worth it yes but it's hard it's hell hard sometimes thank you guys for watching keep watching and see you in the next one bye